touchdown catches to the first seven games, now seven in the last three. Was that a chemistry that was developed? What, I mean, what, what's been the difference here the last few games? Um, just a uh, matter of execution, a uh, matter of just connecting on those uh, on passes. And um, really, I, I, the effort's been there uh, consistently throughout the year. Um, not necessarily the scheme or anything like that, but I mean, just I really couldn't tell you what the difference is between because my effort hasn't changed, his effort hasn't changed, but uh, we, we definitely have been improving week in and week out. Um, and then we, coach is still giving us an opportunity to uh, make plays in the air, and so we just take advantage of it when we can. So, but then Coach Harbaugh says you need to track the deep ball a little bit better, and then you yeah. go out and you track the deep ball better. Mm -hmm. Is it as simple as that? Oh, I need to track the deep ball better. Yeah, I mean, How do you, you do work that? on it in practice. I mean, so uh, Jake and I, we, we stay out, we stay out there a little bit later when practice is over, just making sure everything's tight. But um, yeah, I, I, that's one of my my uh, weaknesses, I guess. And so, um, I mean, coaches, like I said earlier in the year, he's you, you, you're all, you're always going to know where you stand with him. There's no sugarcoating anything. Uh, he, he says you need to work on something. You you probably have a weakness in that area, and so uh, I mean I'm I'm not proficient yet. I'd say I mean I made I made one play, and so and that's just one play, and so uh, it's just a matter of doing it over and over again. And um, and uh, you just need to prepare like that. Just do it over and over again so you can be consistent in the game. Is it Coach Harbaugh who pointed out that to you? Mm -hmm. Will you recall when that happened? Um, no, I mean it's it's been brought up several times, you know. So it's, that's not like. It can't be fixed overnight, uh, but I mean, he's just been—he's kind of, kind of been saying it throughout the season. You know, we can we can track that better uh, in practice. He's been telling me, you know, when he sees me, you know, in the comments, he'll he'll say something about it. But I mean, uh, I, I'm very aware that I need to work on it, and so now that I I am aware, um, can continue to attack the issue, and uh, and I can work on it with Jake, uh, any other quarterbacks, and uh, Mark, can, you know, hop in there too and work with me too, because we could all use the help too. So. What makes somebody specifically good at, at tracking a deep ball? Or how do you improve on that? Um, just your eyes, getting your eyes in the right area. Uh, when you look back for the ball, uh, instead of looking back immediately, you look up first, then back, um, because you, you can really, you may not be aware of where the ball is in the air. So, um, yeah, just really training your eyes and your hands to really follow the ball in. I um, mean, catching kickoffs help too, but uh, that's when you're going forward. But um, when the ball's coming, you know, a different way, then it's. It's a little yeah, exactly. Exactly. How much of it is just running full out the whole way through too? I know that was maybe an issue in Utah. Yeah. The shots. Uh, so that I mean, you can, you can always trace a foot problem to an eye problem. Um, so it's really how you track the ball, uh, how you gauge your speed, um, if it takes off on you or if it kind of floats or hangs in the air. Um, so. I mean, I, I just think the more football you play, the better you get at it. Um, and there's really no secret formula than other than repetition. And I really think um, late here in the season, we've been getting a lot of reps at those deep passes. And so uh, we're just very happy, happy that they, they connected when they did. Do you play baseball growing up by chance? No, not I'm really. I'm just wondering if it's no, late catching really. the fly ball. And yeah, no, not really. I, I played baseball up until about middle school. And then I started running track. Outfield? Yeah, I did. I played. Did outfield. anything like catching a fly ball? Yeah, or I did. I did. I mean, is, it, is it anything I mean, like that or no? no? I mean, I really couldn't say I haven't caught a fly ball or line or anything <laughs> like that in years. But I guess there's there's a resemblance. But um, yeah, no. So you still gun around the punt team? Yes. I am. Okay, were you out there on the on the return and what did you see? No, I was not. Um, I, I haven't looked at the film yet, but uh, I mean, the guy made a good play. Um, we, we gave him an opportunity to make a play. He took advantage of it. They scored on that. Um, so, I mean, you just got to credit their punt return. Uh, they prepared well, um, and it showed when, on that specific play. Um, but we need to go back, regroup, see what we can do to make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, and so not much we can do about that right now. What though. determines whether or not you're out there? Um, just th which what determines? Uh, whatever Coach Baxter wants. Okay. Uh, if Coach Baxter wants me out there, he'll put me out there. If he doesn't, he doesn't. So. It seemed like you got a little bit banged up at the end of the second quarter. Did that mm -hmm. affect you a little bit in the second half, or I mean, did you uh, just shake it off? Yeah, no, yeah, I just shook it off. I mean, adrenaline's pumping, uh, sore today, obviously, but um, when you want to win a game, you know, that bad, you kind of try to play play through any pain that you are experiencing. And plus, at the same time, you put so much work in since January. So I was hurting. I wasn't hurt. Um, there's a big difference between playing hurt and hurting because when you're hurt, you can't play. Um, but uh, everybody's hurting at that this point in the season, so I mean I'm no exception to the rules. No real lingering effects though the next day or anything. Uh, no, yeah, I mean I was I'm still hurting, but 
it is what it is. It's football. It's November and it's football. So we're coming up on bowl season, and so that's how you're going to feel. It seems like Jake is a little more comfortable with you and Jake Button tomorrow, even if you're maybe in coverage, just kind of putting the ball up and letting you guys make a play. Have you seen more of that in the past couple of weeks? I mean, more of a trust developed there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I kind of been saying, he, he just, uh, he's an incredible quarterback. The decisions he makes, uh, they're awesome. Uh, he makes full speed decisions. And uh, regardless what the outcome is, we live with it. And um, he puts the ball in our framework. It's our job as receivers, as Michigan receivers, we go get the ball. and. Um, especially Jake, Jake Butt, too, as a tight end. The uh, expectation for a Michigan tight end is um, not far far from behind the expectation in terms of catching the ball with the receiver. So, I mean, uh, Jake can go up and get that ball. Um, and Rudolph puts it where he needs to be. So.